Sometimes the elderly take more medications than others. We are here with Dr. Swapnil Roth of Pine Rest Christian Mental Health Services. Why is that the case? Some older adults have medical conditions for which they need to take more than one medication. That, that is a state of polypharmacy and sometimes it's necessary, other times it's important to evaluate if you need to be on so many medications. That's a term that people may have heard before, polypharmacy. What is that? Yeah, so it's, uh, for example, someone has high blood pressure and needs to take two or three antihypertensives. At times that's important uh, to keep the blood pressure under control, but at other times there may be potential consequences of taking too much medication. Mm -hmm. And what are some of those consequences? So the elderly in particular uh, have a higher risk of side effects uh, or adverse effects. Uh, for the example of high blood pressure, they could potentially have low blood pressure if they are on too much antihypertensives. Mm -hmm. And so how could a patient or perhaps their loved ones really advocate for that individual? So I think for the patient and the loved one, it's important that they have more familiarity with what medication they're taking and why and also look back at how long you've been taking a medication and talk with your healthcare provider. If you've been taking this medication for, let's say, a decade, ask the, ask the right questions as to, okay, do I still need to take it? Uh, can the dose be reduced? Sometimes it's appropriate, sometimes it's not. Um, so if you be a good advocate for yourself, um, you can really help inform the doctor or the healthcare provider uh, to give you the best care.